How's it going? Uh, quarantine slash self-isolation day 10, 11 maybe? Something like that. Anyway, I'm um, not going too crazy. This is how I live every day. But I thought I would uh, clean up the carburetors for the Spitfire while I'm stuck at home. So I'm polishing these. Unfortunately, I put the, the main body and the cap for the uh, the uh, fuel bowl through the ultrasonics cleaner and it didn't like it so i'll have to polish those again some but that that was much uglier so was that um i've got this little copy chrome or caswell kit for electroplating i'm supposed to just use the brush and just kind of brush the parts but i haven't found that to be very effective so these are all, hopefully, all of the parts of the carburetor, all the hardware that I'm going to reuse, everything. And let's take this piece. It's all been through the ultrasonic. Um, you can see I did what I could to clean it up. I mean, realistically, you're never going to see inside of there, but, you know, kind of dull. Throw it in here. This is just running off of like a one amp charger. Um, with some sort of a nickel, or I'm sorry, a zinc acid solution, plug and plate zinc solution. Um, I just find it works a lot better if you just let it soak. So you can see that it's already pulling a bunch of metal off of this wand and putting it on the part. So I suspect I'll probably want to polish these again once this is done. But it seems like a few minutes of sitting in here kind of close to this part. Um, and it works pretty well. So I think I might pick up a, some more zinc, maybe, and build an actual proper tank for this. But you can see it's, it's doing a pretty good job of cleaning that part up. I went through and polished all this stuff with a Dremel wire brush and then actual polishing compound. It's so completely, totally unnecessary, but I mean, what else have I got to do? Um, you can see it's already looking better. A few more minutes in there. Really, I don't need to be holding it and messing with it. Um, I should probably be wearing gloves, but I don't really want to waste those right now for some reason. I've got, I've got some, but I feel guilty for not having donated them already and I don't really want to waste them on stuff like this. I don't think this stuff is that nasty. Um, but I'm just dipping it in there. Um, so you can see sort of a difference. The part on the left has been plated, the part on the right hasn't. There's definitely still some, some pitting on some of the surfaces that it's probably got some dirt ground in there. But I don't know. This isn't really costing me anything but my time because I've already had all this stuff on hand. Um, I've got a new rebuild kit for these, which did cost a lot of money. It was actually $150 for a rebuild kit. Um, that's pretty much everything that came in it. So, just pretty ridiculous. Actually, I didn't even, didn't even come with the carb float right there. But it does come with a new throttle body or um, butterfly valve and it looked like a couple of bushings. I need to read up on how to do this if I should be trying to replace these. The old the old um, linkage there, the bar there, was worn down a little bit on the ends where it's pivoted in there for several decades. So I got the new one and it fits a lot tighter, but I think that I could theoretically install those bushings and make it tighter. I just need to see. Um, I don't know. I had this problem with an old Volkswagen Beetle, where the... I, I don't even know if it's a problem. I haven't had the car running, really, on these carbs for more than a few minutes. But, um, so that part's looking pretty good. Dip it. This is just some, just some water. I would say that looks better than... Let's see. There's another one. So that's what they looked like before. 
That's what they look like after. They've got a much nicer, brighter coat on there. So, hmm, this is pretty straightforward stuff. I could definitely make it go faster if I wanted to, but again, I don't really have anything to do today. Um, this is, no, oh, I got the trunk closed. That's what the carburetor looked like before. I'm gonna actually try to film the full restoration on this one. But um, yeah, it was pretty nasty. I'm not gonna reuse those air cleaners if I can help it. I'd like to get velocity stacks with little filters in them instead. Um, a, it might give me a, another quarter horsepower, which is 20% you know, of the car's power total. So um, B, I just don't like the looks of those. I, I really like, um, I don't know, the thing I like about old British cars is the side draft carbs and just the way the engines look are really, really cool. They don't, they don't look like anything else. They don't look like a German or American or Japanese car to me. So anyway, I got plenty of this left to do. And then I'm gonna have to polish these again, the Dremel and some light compound. Um, I think I might be missing a few little spacers or bushing or um little o-ring type things that they're like little sections of tube i'm not sure if i should just make those new or use an o-ring or what but i got plenty of time to research it while i'm sitting here watching this watching paint dry this i mean this little kit i think it was about 40 bucks which was probably hilariously overpriced versus me just building it myself and getting some zinc and I know you can make that solution yourself. This is just basic chemistry, but hmm, kind of fun. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there. Um, 